Hello, everybody. This is Ian, founder of i30 Media Corp and author of the Lean Media book, blog, and video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to send in inventory, FBA inventory, to Amazon using the new workflow that they have in Amazon Seller Central as of 2021. Uh, quick disclaimer, you're responsible for following relevant terms, and your experience may be different than what I show you. Also, if this video helps you, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And without further ado, let's get started. Amazon Seller Central. I'm an FBA seller. This is a pro-level account. I want to send in some inventory to Amazon's uh, fulfillment centers or warehouses. Um, go to Inventory, Manage FBA Inventory, and then find the product you need to send in. So I have quite a few. And the one I want is, I don't see it. Oh, here it is. OK. So select it using the checkbox. Blow it up a little bit. And then actually can't blow it up. Go to this this uh, drop down menu, don't press edit, select send replenish inventory. Try that again. Oh, there it goes. This by the way is the same in whether you're using a Windows PC or a Mac. It's basically the website for Amazon Seller Central. Okay, welcome to the new Send to Amazon Shipment Creation Workflow. It's a new workflow that saves FBA sellers time through a streamlined, more flexible creation uh, process. And I agree with this because I'm very familiar with the old process. I tried out the new process. It basically takes half the time and they get rid of a lot of steps that weren't really necessary. Um, there are, however, a few concerns which I shall describe shortly. So here is the product. Um, now, you might be doing this or you may give permission. You may authorize your... Uh, your production team or your supplier to do this for you, but this is basically how you set it up. Um, make sure it's the right product. This is the correct product. Um, this drop down, select individual units. You can also create a new pack template, which may save time later on. I actually did a separate video for that, but for this, for the sake of this video, we're just going to do individual units. Uh, prep and labeling details needed. Um, so click on that. No prep needed. For some products, you may actually do, it, depending on what you're selling. If you're selling like a, you know powder, sharp stuff, liquids, baby products, adult um, clothing on hangers, stuff like that, you may need to select one of those. I don't need to do that. No labeling is required. So this this SKU uses manufacturer barcodes for tracking. That's already on the packaging. In some cases, though, for some sellers, they do need to have uh, barcodes added separately. I don't need to do that. So click save. Okay. So I am sending 120 units ready to pack. I actually already have them in a box, and I re strongly recommend that you have all the details, like the box weight, the box dimensions, all that stuff. Okay. Pack individual units. Click on that. Okay. Um, so... I'm not going to get into pack groups or all that other stuff. I'm just going to go straight to packing information. 120 of this unit, that's correct, this uh, SKU. Everything will fit into one box. Confirm. Box dimensions. So I already prepared that. The box dimensions are 20 by 12 by 7. This is in inches. If you're in another country, it may be metric centimeters. Box weight, LD means pounds. We weighed it before, it's 35 pounds. Actually, it's a little bit less than that. Confirm packing information. By the way, you do want to get this right because if you are not sure or if you fudge the numbers here and the shipper uh, determines that, you may be penalized and have to pay extra money. So just get it right. And may, you might need to ask your supplier to be careful with this too. So confirm packing information. Okay, I got a warning here. Box volume does not meet, does not meet the expected minimum cubic inch. Let's see if I did something wrong there. Everything will fit into one box. So let's change it a little bit. So I'm going to do 12 inches by 7 inches. Actually, 12 by 20 by 7. And then 35 pounds. So I'm going to ignore that warning and continue. 
I think this is a problem actually with the new system. It'll be ironing out. Anyways, they're letting me do it. So ship date, uh, that is today, which is the 18th. Okay, good news. It's only having me ship to a single fulfillment center in New Jersey. That's great. It automatically selects the partner carrier, which is UPS in this in this situation. Uh, it may also show you a different carrier if there's another one in the country where you live. It also may give you the option to select somebody else. I just take UPS, and actually I should say, these rates are fantastic. This is cheaper than anything I could get on my own, so I'm happy with that. Um, it'll show the labeling fees, assess shipping fees, this looks right, accept charges and continue. Take a few seconds and of course this is a relatively simple shipment single box so it shows all the information I usually rename these things because then if I'm reviewing it later on I can easily determine what was shipped uh, green bar I should say light green bar and then I put the date 05 18 21 Maybe add my box. Okay, hit save. Uh, select. So we're just using a normal standard office printer, eight and a half by eight, eight point five by five point five. So that's half of a of a A4 sheet standard office paper. So print that. So basically, what it's going to do, it's going to set up the printing, and then I can print it. Uh, and then once I print that then I can put the labels on the box and we can drop it off at UPS or arrange for a pickup and we're all set to go. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of your Amazon program, Seller Central, Amazon Advertising, that type of thing, I have a YouTube channel which shows which shows a lot of videos about this. Uh, if this video helped you, if you can like it and subscribe, I'd be very appreciative. If you want to see more, go to leemedia.org slash video or click on blog. I have other information there. This is Ian Lamont signing off. Thank you so much for watching.